only speak about uh, coming back to left politics, which, 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 is, which is a certain way of looking at the economy, looking at the political economy, a certain analysis of the political economy, and the gender feminist perspective, which I think you, bo you embody both in one sense, your work as well, work at the grassroots and even the uh, book that you've written. Is there a tension? Is there a need to keep making forays within uh, left politics to assert the gender perspective? How difficult is it? There's no doubt that unless there's a constant assert, you see what happens, it's really also a period of, you know, compete, not just competing perspectives, because I think in the left, as far as gender is concerned, it's not so much as a competing perspective, mm. but certainly it is a question of the prioritization of issues. And what tends to happen, or what has happened in the past, with many of our programs and our perspectives and our work, that we have tended to look at uh, the gender aspect from an area where the party comes out in support mm -hmm. of this or that movement. Mm -hmm. Now that's fine as far as it goes, because we do want to support women's groups and organizations in their efforts. But at the same time, the party itself has a very important role to play. And parties' political mobilization, what we have been arguing is that the political agenda has to expand, the political agenda has to shift, the political agenda has to change to make these priority issues. And I think that is where the assertion and has to And that's why come. EDWA grew from where it was to where it is now and is really one of the largest women's mass organizations probably in the world? Um, well. I, I think yes, except for the socialist countries, which Brazil, had very large maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, women's yeah, organizations. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps the rest of the world, yes, it is as far as membership based is concerned. So I think the South African uh, women's organization also has a very large membership. But the point that I would like to make here is that AIDVA's work is uh, very independent from the party's work. Okay. So we cannot at all say that AIDVA's membership at all reflects um, you know, the strength of the left. We can't say that because Edwa is working with different sections of women on different issues and we have a much wider reach among so women. So the women in the left are more imaginative? Well, I won't say that because if you look at any of the mass organizations, you'll find that their membership goes far beyond the parties. Uh, that of the party. Because party has very strict rules about Post May 2014, when you now have a complete and clear yeah. rightward shift, yeah. not just in uh, neoliberal economic terms, but e even in social, religious, political terms. Absolutely. Uh, is the position that the left is taking or being equidistant from the Congress and the BJP a wise one? Is it a repetition of a past mistake when it comes to the Bihar election? Well, I don't really think so, because if you look at it, what has propelled the BJP into power? What has propelled the BJP into power is the utter failure of the Congress. And the road of the BJP to power is littered with the uh, failures of the Congress party. And when I say failure, I don't really mean failure in the sense they set out a name and didn't achieve. What I mean is their perspective, which in very fundamental ways is the same as the BJP. Now, for example, what are you to think? of a party which has come out openly in support of privatization of banks. When the Congress was in government, the BJP refused. Now the BJP is in government, the Congress is very willing to play ball mm. because the corporates who have shifted to the BJP are telling the Congress, look, you know, if you want to, to get back no, into play. I, I, I fully am fully so that in no, I'm fully with Ambit. you on the economic uh, agenda, oh, which was started true. in 91 by Narasimha Rao and Manmohan Singh when he was... No, but I'm still saying that there yeah. still appears to many of us to be a fundamental difference when it comes to the socio-religious political agenda. That's the communal agenda of the two. So, and, and this is not a battle, this is just understanding no, 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 that no. centrist space, the centrist space that the Congress once occupied and today has shrunk so... Well, it's not the job of the left to get the Congress to, to, to regain its center space. No, the job the of the left mm -hmm. is to shift Indian politics Towards to left. an alternative path. And if that alternative path means fighting what the Congress did in the name of secularism, I mean, the Congress was in I know, Tisa, that 
on every issue, even from 2004, when we were pushing the Congress to come out with strong legislations which would prevent a Gujarat, when we were pushing the Congress to take strong action, which it could within the constitutional framework, to ensure justice to those victims of Gujarat. What were the, the steps Congress on, didn't move. What were the steps on Gujarat that the Congress ought to have taken according to? Well, firstly, why should it have left the entire legal battle to brave individuals like yourself? What was the Congress doing in the Supreme Court? Why was the Congress not pushing those cases in the Supreme Court? Why had the Congress just given up that space? The Congress was in government. The Congress had a responsibility to intervene on that, on each and every case, Even where the Supreme Court itself was saying that, you know, we're not sure that you're going to get justice in Gujarat. In such a situation, Congress sits back as a b benign observer. I mean, I won't say malignant, but certainly yeah. a benign observer. I mean, is that secularism? Mm. And is it secularism, for example, not to take into account very seriously the, uh, the recommendations of Ranganath Mishra Commission. Why? Because they were afraid of what the BJP was going to say. So I'm sorry. I mean, Congress secularism is a, not a secularism which can be relied on. Among the Although I do see the difference between an RSS-backed government Obviously. And, and a Congress. I mean, I certainly see the difference.